Hey everyone, today I'll show you how to set up and install a D-Link router using the D-Link Wi-Fi app. In this example, we will be using a DIR X5460. For a list of all routers that support the D-Link Wi-Fi app, please see the description below. In the box, you should have received a router, power adapter, ethernet cable, quick install guide, quick install card, and two antennas. For this setup, I will be using an Android phone. However, if you're using an iPhone or an iPad, the steps will be similar. Now, in order to set up the router, you'll need to download the D-Link Wi-Fi app from the Google Play Store. If you're using an iPhone or an iPad, you can download the app from the App Store. Launch the Google Play Store on your device, search for D-Link Wi-Fi, and install the app. To begin the setup, launch the D-Link Wi-Fi app. Tap Install New Device. If you get a prompt to turn off your mobile data, please do so. Once the setup is complete, you can turn it back on. Tap on Scan the QR code and scan the code that is on the bottom of the router or on the Quick Install card. Some routers come with detachable antennas. In this case, the DIR X5460 has two detachable antennas, marked with a gold and a silver connector. As per instructions on the screen, connect the one marked with gold to the gold connector on the router and the one that's marked silver to the silver connector on the router. If your router does not have detachable antennas, you will not see the screen. Tap Next. Unplug the power to your modem and make sure all the lights are off. If you still have lights lit, then please remove the battery from your modem. Tap Next. Connect an Ethernet cable from your modem to the yellow internet port on the router. Tap Next. Power your modem back on. If you remove the battery from your modem, reinsert it prior to powering the modem on. Then tap Next. Plug in the router to a power outlet. Tap Next. The router is booting up. If the router does not start to boot up, check to see if the power button is set to the on position. If you're using an Android device, you will be automatically connected to the default signal of the router. If you're using an iPhone or an iPad, you will be prompted to join the network. Once the Wi-Fi LEDs are lit, tap Next. The router will detect the internet connection automatically. In this example, the router is connected to a cable modem. If you have a DSL modem, then you may be prompted for additional information. Here you have the option to change the default Wi-Fi network name and the password of your router. In this example, I will change this to home and I will also change the Wi-Fi password. Once done, tap next. You will need to configure the admin password for your router. This password is required to log into your router when you want to make changes to the configuration. This is not your Wi-Fi password. Once done, tap Next. To ensure your router has the latest updates, tap on Keep My Device Up To Date automatically. When a software update is available, it will be automatically installed on your router without the need of manually updating it. Tap Next. Here you will see a summary of the changes you have made. I would recommend that you make a note of this information for future use. Tap Save. The router is applying your settings and rebooting. If you have changed the Wi-Fi network of your router and you're using an Android device, you will be automatically connected to the signal of the router. If you're using an iPhone or an iPad, you will be prompted to join the signal of the router. You can link your router with Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa. This is an optional setting and can be configured at a later time. If you would like to link your router now, then tap register and follow the on-screen prompts. I'm not going to link my router, so I will just tap not now. Setup is complete. 
Tap Finish. You can now manage the router with the D-Link Wi-Fi app. Thank you for watching. For more videos and other helpful resources on how to get the most out of your D-Link device, please visit support.dlink.ca or support.dlink.com.